my god, I can barely hold all these. <gasps> Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So we are in a different spot of my house. I'm actually in my living room right now. You can see the dogs are on the couch. Kai's little butt is over there on the ottoman. And I put down this blanket just so that their fur doesn't get all over the couch. But we are in my living room because this is a very big hall and I almost don't have enough space to do it in my bedroom. Um, and it's really hot outside right now. So the living room is like the perfect temperature right now. So we're gonna film here. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you like my wall decor that we have going up in the background and stuff. Honestly, the living room is the only part of my house that I have fully decorated. So that's that on that. But I hope you guys are excited because today's video is my SAS haul. I actually have two, oh, it's two heavy giant bags that I'm going to be hauling for you today. And I've got a lot of goodies. I went to an outlet. I went to uh, two regular stores and I picked up pretty much everything I looked for and more. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. And I do want to say go ahead and subscribe down below. I do post Bath and Body Works content year round. I am a junkie. I love it so much. I have, I do try to keep my collection minimal. I do project use it ups every single month and we just have a good time on this channel. So if you're interested, subscribe down below. But I'm going to go ahead and start with candles because honestly, that's what I'm most excited for. I walked out of the store with a giant smile on my face because of what I found. So you guys are not ready for the amazingness of the candles that I bought. So I have my receipt from the outlet that I went to. So they opened at 8 a.m. Um, that was like the earliest store, the earliest that a store around me opened at. But I definitely wanted to go to the outlet because they usually have stuff from um, different seasons. So they'll have like some fall, winter, um, spring and summer they'll have some from year round and they really did if you're interested in seeing what my store had I did do a walkthrough which is the video I posted before this I'll link it up above but you guys can go watch that one I go through everything that I saw at the store but I'm gonna walk you through some prices real quick so most of the candles that I bought were $25.50 or $24.50 so the ones that were not in season were on sale for $8 and I had a 20% off coupon so all of those candles came to $6.40 six dollars and 40 cents for a candle yeah i know i'm freaking out um and then the ones that were in season and that were newer um i also had a 20 percent off candle they were 11.55 right is that the, the price they were and they came out to 9.56 so that's my candle pricing and then i'll walk through the um body care pricing once we get to body care but let's start with the candles i got two crates <laughs> Oh my god worth of candles to show you guys so this is exciting i might actually come up there and show you some close-ups i'll overlay it over this video so you guys can see the candles but we will start with fall candles i've already organized these because i'm crazy um but the ones i was most excited for were the fall ones so i did pick up a pumpkin pecan waffles this one is so yummy i did not get it last year but i usually get it every single year the notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. This one has um, like Arabic on the bottom of it and it has a really different looking label. I don't think it's from the US, I think it's from like, I don't actually know where it's from. Maybe it's from Mexico, but it has four different languages on it and usually ours only have English and Spanish. So I thought that was really cool. But oh my God, this scent is so yummy. Like I said, I used to get this every single year. I forgot to get it last year. I just didn't get a chance to get it on a good deal. So I got this one for $6.40 such a good deal and i'm gonna save this for the fall and really enjoy it the next fall candle i got is white pumpkin i did have this one actually last year in the exact same packaging it was like a free candle if you spent a certain amount of money i think it was like 25 dollars then you got a free candle so i got white pumpkin last year the notes are ginger white pumpkin caramel glaze and warm blended spices it's a very nice sophisticated fall scent i would say it's not quite like pumpkin spice it's more like cardamom um it's not quite just like cinnamon it's something a little bit more it's such a good sophisticated scent i enjoyed it so much last year i'm really gonna love it i think in my living room burning during the fall and the last fall scent that i got is harvest gathering this one is really really pretty packaging i think this is also from a different um location because it says made with natural essential oils but it also has like the other language underneath it um so that's really cool. Maybe this is a Canada one because it's 
The second language is in, I think, French. Really cool. The notes are fresh picked apple, autumn berries, and clove buds. I don't remember smelling this one last year, but it's such a good scent. I think those berries and clove buds gives it like a slight different scent versus just like your regular average fall scent, which is like pumpkin. I'm really gonna love this one this year. I almost got, they had one single um, cider donut candle, but I just bought the hot cider donut from Homework, so I felt like I didn't really need that just yet. But if I do want it, it is coming back for the fall, so just a tip there. Okay, I have a few candles that are not really any season in particular, um, so I'll go over these next. The first one being Strawberry Pound Cake. Now this is in the uh, New Year's packaging from last year, from 2021. Notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. It's the exact same as strawberry pound cake. So good. It was just $8 because of the New Year's packaging, but I think it's still really pretty and I love this scent. The, um, the wax is a little discolored. I think it used to be like a brighter pink, so I won't keep this for too long. I might try and burn it this year or next year just because I'm worried about it going bad, but you can't go wrong with strawberry pound cake for $6.40. So I definitely picked that one up. And then I also picked up coconut sandalwood. This one, I love the packaging style of this collection. I think it's so gorgeous. I also think this one is from Canada because the second language under it is um, French. The notes are coconut palm, luxurious sandalwood, and jasmine. This one smells like, um, I can't remember what brand it is, but it smells like those candles that you can only buy at Urban Outfitters. It smells really, really fancy and like upscale. I don't know, it smells really good. It looks really beautiful. I love this candle and it was again, 640. And the last one, um, it's not necessarily seasonal, is the Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Paris Cafe Blend. This one I was very excited for because I've been really wanting, more like craving a coffee scent to use in the morning when I'm working. So I work from home. I, my desk is literally right there where the dining room is. And I love burning a candle in the morning, but I don't really have any um, coffee scents. I just burned through my last pumpkin spice latte. So picking up this one I felt was super fitting. The notes are rich roasted coffee, vanilla creme, ground cinnamon, sugar crystals with natural essential oils. Really, it smells like Paris Cafe with the slightest twinge of cinnamon, but it is so strong. Like I'm kind of almost scared to burn this, but I feel like it'll make my productivity better at work in the morning. So yeah, excited to have this one. Like I said, this one was, um, this is actually a new release just for SAS. So I think the price on this one was a little more. It was $11.45 or $11.95 and I got it for, oh, it was $11.95. With my 20% off coupon, I got it for $9.56. So still under $10 for that candle, which I think is a really good deal. My last batch of candles are some Christmas candles. So one actually I got to burn during the fall and that one is hot cocoa and cream. I had hot cocoa and scream, I think it was in 2020 in the Halloween packaging and I loved burning it during the fall. So I thought I would pick up hot cocoa and cream and burn it in the fall again. The notes are decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk and mini marshmallows. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's basically just like Ghirardelli chocolate hot chocolate, those like little packets of Ghirardelli hot chocolate. That's what it smells like. It smells delicious. I'm so excited to have this again for the fall. This one I picked up because I pick it up every single year. It's Give Hope Peppermint Marshmallow. Um, the last couple of years they've had it online exclusive, but this past year it came out with this whole, what was it, like the Give Thanks collection, I think. Um, the notes are crushed peppermint, fluffy marshmallows, and powdered sugar. It honestly is a, such a good scent. It's very soft though, very light throw. Um, I think I actually had to put this in my candle crock to get the scent out of it versus burning it because it just wasn't it wasn't throwing very strong at all it's super light but it smells it smells stronger when i'm smelling it just like this so maybe it's sitting since christmas made it stronger i don't know but i get the scent every single year around christmas time and it's such a nice soft peppermint scent and i really really love it especially for the bedroom i feel like it just sets the mood to go to sleep at night like it's very soothing so the last two that i have are also peppermint scents because i know i would end up getting them in um the christmas time this year so why not just get them now for seven dollars 650 actually 640 actually so yeah the first one is peppermint sugar cookie they've been bringing this out every year since 2020 
it is a newer scent they came out fresh in 2020 and it's such a good scent the notes are crushed peppermint vanilla extract creamy butter and soft sugar cookies it is so yummy mm. it is such a good sweet vanilla peppermint scent it is so 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 yummy um, I'm actually gonna bring this downstairs for my boyfriend Ryan to burn because he's a little sick he's got like a sinus thing going on and I think it's gonna help him clear up a little bit so kind of funny how the peppermint candles work like that but this one is so yummy I knew I'd pick it up again in the winter so why not just buy it now and save it and then the last one last candle I got is peppermint hot chocolate this one I had last year too and I absolutely adored it the notes are cool peppermint, silky milk chocolate, and sweet cream. I think I remember burning this the week of Christmas and just feeling so like spirited, like in the Christmas spirits, just because this like chocolate mint was so yummy. Oh, it is so, so, so good. It almost smells like peppermint brownie, if you guys remember that one from like 2018, 2017. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It is so yummy. So very happy to have picked that up. So in total, I picked up three, six, nine, ten candles. I picked up ten candles, nine of which were six dollars and forty cents. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I'm almost thinking I was showing Ryan this downstairs. You know how when you get home, you show like, I used to do this even when I lived at my parents' house. I would go home and show my parents my haul or I went home today and I showed Ryan my haul and he was like, wait, you paid how much for these candles? How much are they regularly? Oh my God, you got such a deal. I was like, yeah, I know I got a good deal. <laughs> I almost wish I would have bought more and that I did. Do, I do not need to buy more, but I feel good about how many, um, let me put these on, hold on. I do feel good about how many fall candles I bought just because I don't really want to be buying too many fall candles right now because I know I'm just gonna buy more when fall comes around because they always come out with really fun new scents every fall so I knew I was gonna buy some during the fall so that's why I got like pumpkin pumpkin pecan waffles and the ones that I already know I love just because I know that I would buy them but why not get them for a good price now but when those new scents come out in the fall I'm gonna want to buy them anyway so I might as well just like save it until the fall so we're gonna stay on the train of the outlet store and go into body care now i did pick up a ton of soaps so they had a two dollar soap little like table at the front of the store so these soaps were all two dollars and i had 20 percent off coupon so they actually turned out to be a dollar 60. so i did stock us up on our fall soap so we don't need to buy any during the fall and then I got a few that aren't really fall scents, but just for like year round. So let's start with those. The first one being Vanilla Cloud. Now this one doesn't actually have the notes on the back because it has a different language and it even has Arabic on it. So I don't know where this, this one's from, but it's really gorgeous and it has like a different color top to the bottom. So I thought that was interesting, but Vanilla Cloud, I've already had it before in like that marble packaging that they had it out in last year. And it was really yummy, like soft and gentle kind of scent. So I picked it up again. $1.60, you literally can't beat that. And then I picked up Strawberry Pound Cake because I can use this any time of year and it's such a good scent. I think this is actually a Canada scent because it has um, it has French as a second language on here, but you guys know what uh, Strawberry Pound Cake smells like. I can use this year round pretty much, so it's such a good scent. I figured I'd pick it up for cheap. Okay, on to fall scents. The first one I was very intrigued with because I did not buy this last year, but it is Fall Citrus Harvest. Um, my tastes have changed just a little bit since moving out of my parents' house because Ryan really doesn't care about what scents I get. So I can kind of get some really cool, like fresh and airy scents versus like my mom was kind of averse to scents. We all have asthma in my family, so I understand it. It would trigger her, so I couldn't buy them, but now I can. So I'm really interested in like the um, fresh and airy stronger scents lately so i figured i'd pick this one up fall citrus har harvest the notes are zesty lemon mint leaves and thyme this smells really good i like this um zesty lemon scent it's like kind of limey where are you going here i'm just trying to get comfortable it's kind of got a hint of lime to it i think it's such a fun scent and i could see this being really good to use at the beginning of fall because it has that lime like citrus note to it so I think this could be good for like September when it's still hot here in Texas so we don't really want like the pumpkin scents just yet but I do want something like transition us into fall 
Okay, next is a staple marshmallow fireside, and I was hoping I would find this in the candle, but they didn't have it in the candle this year um, at my outlet. So I got it in the hand soap. The notes are toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, and fire roasted vanilla. This scent is amazing. It smells so good. I get it every year in some form or another. So I knew I was gonna get it in the hand soap. It's such a good, yummy, like bonfire marshmallow scent. It is so good. Okay, next I have white pumpkin. So I got it in the candle and I got it in the hand soap. The notes are ginger, white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blended spices. Again, a really good fall scent. This could be really good around Thanksgiving, I think, since it's got that little bit of caramel in it. Such a good, yummy scent. And I love the little birds on the packaging. It's so cute. Okay, last hand soap I got is Autumn Rainfall. Now this one, the notes are aloe leaf, bergamot, and chamomile water. So again, another like fresh and airy kind of scent. Yeah, and it really doesn't have like the biggest scent to it, but that aloe leaf is really nice and it's still kind of like subtle, but I love like the leaf print on it, it's very pretty. Okay, so the next thing I got, I was trying to look for the price of it, is actually this wallflower plug. It's the blue truck with the sunflowers and I guess this is daffodils in the trunk. I thought this would be so cute for fall. Honestly, when it came out in the spring, I was like, that's a fall item. I don't know what you're talking about, Bath and Body Works, but it's regularly $19.50 and it was on sale for half price. So the actual price was supposed to be $9.75 and then I had the 20% off coupon. So I got it for $7.80, which I think is a steal for a plug-in like this. It's really cute. I hope it lights up. I actually don't know if it does or not, but I'm going to use this downstairs right when we walk in the house and put in some really nice scents. And yeah, I've just kind of been itching to have a wallflower downstairs anyway. So it felt like this is a, pri a proper time to buy one. And then I did buy two um, wallflower refills. I think the wallflower refills were on sale for $3. Yep, that's right. And then with my coupon, they ended up being $2.40 each. So the first one I got is raspberries and whipped vanilla. I really just needed two. So I got raspberries and whipped vanilla and mahogany coconut. I just needed two of these to get us through to some, the rest of summer because we have one upstairs in the hallway and then we have one upstairs in our bathroom and our master bath. So. I got, I don't know which one I'm going to put in which. I usually do fruity in the bathroom though. And like, I had, I think I have mahogany coconut going upstairs in the hallway and I love it. So I got those two just to last us through summer. But again, like I said, they were $2.40, so really good deal. So let's move on to some body care. The first thing being this little mini hand cream in black raspberry vanilla. This is from last fall. And I figured I'd pick this up because in case I don't use it, in the summer right now i could use it in the fall but if i want to use it in the summer it totally fits it's a really nice like almost smells like buttercream icing but it's like a raspberry icing scent i don't know it smells really really yummy um but this one was actually on the two dollar table yeah and i also had the coupon so this was a dollar sixty really really good deal on that one another mini that i got on the two dollar table was strawberry pound cake and this one I got for $1.60 again. So same thing, $2 with 20% um, off. And then the last mini that I got, I actually had a coupon for a free item up to $8.50. I don't know why I ended up using it on these items. I should have used it on like one of the full price brand new items, but I just wasn't thinking, so I just used it. I got champagne, apple, and honey, which is perfect for the fall because I have a little bit of fall body care, but I really love champagne, apple, and honey. I used to get it every single year when the fall came around. So I got this little mini body cream just because I feel like this would be really nice to intro myself into fall because I think all the fall scents I have are like pumpkin. So not a good intro, but this one will be really nice and I love this scent. Okay, full size body care, let's go. Okay, the first thing I got was definitely on my list and that is a moisturizing body wash in Sunshine Mimosa. I was not expecting to get this particular scent, but I do love this scent. Um, this was on sale for $4.95 and then with my 20% off coupon, it ended up being $3.96, so a little under $4 for the moisturizing body wash. The notes are bright, bubbly champagne and fresh citrus. I feel like this will be really good, even if I don't finish it this summer to use next spring and summer, but just like a nice fresh and fruity scent to put in the shower, which I don't have a fresh and fruity scent in the shower right now, so I feel like this will be really yummy to use um, on the days when I'm feeling that instead. Okay, this one was a very unexpected find. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I love this scent. Let me find for you guys how much it was. Okay, so this one was on the $3 table. 
and with my 20% off coupon, it was $2.40. And that is Pink Velvet Cupcake. I'm so excited that I got this one. This is from last fall and it is such a yummy scent. I used to have it in the full size fragrance mist, but I used it up last, last, um, last year. And the notes are sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugared praline. It is such a yummy scent. I think I'm gonna put some on right now actually because it's so good. Oh, it's almost going bad. So I'll have to use this um, this fall. Oh, it smells so good. It's got a slight, slight, very light floral touch to it, but it is so yummy. It is literally just like berries and marshmallow, just like it says. It's so, so, so yummy. The next thing that I got was actually only 50% off, but that's okay because I really wanted it. And that is Beach Nights Summer Marshmallow in the body lotion. I already have it in the shower and I'm using in the shower gel and I'm using it in the shower right now. So I really wanted to pick up the body lotion because people have been telling me it smells delicious, just like warm marshmallows. So I really wanted it. Um, but with my 20% off coupon, it actually came out to be, so it was $7.25 at 50% off and then it came out to be $5.80. So I really think under $6 is still a good deal for this and it's pretty much brand new. The notes are toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, and creamy vanilla. That's a lot of notes. And I just realized I got one with a damaged packaging. It's got like a dented bottom on it. I don't know what happened to that, but it still stands up on its own, so it's fine. But it smells really yummy. I do love this scent in the shower, so I'm excited to try it in the body lotion because I just think every formula that you can try, they're all slightly different. Um, because the one in the shower, it'll warm up on your loofah and warm up with the heat of the shower. And so it's a different kind of scent versus what you put on your body as a lotion. And then it mixes with your pH and all the oils in your skin naturally. And it makes its own scent too. So I'm really excited to try this one and see how it turns out. Okay. And the last thing that I got from the sale is actually, um, something from the retired, uh, retired collection. And it was only $7, even though it was on the $3 table. I didn't comment on it when she rung it up, but like, I don't really care. So it was actually $7, but I did have the 20% off coupon, like I said, so it was only $5.60, and that is Almond Blossom. I know what you guys are thinking, why get Almond Blossom, right? Um, well, I do have it in the Fine Fragrance Mist, and I've been trying to use it up for the past like three years. So I think I'm gonna to commit to using it up and finally finish it this fall. So I got the lotion so I could use it together. Um, it doesn't actually have the notes on here, but it says Almond Blossom Warm and Cozy, Sweet Almond Oil Blended with Vanilla Orchid and Cashmere Musk. It's got like the slightest light um, floral scent to it, but it really is cozy. It kind of reminds me of Cozy Cashmere just a bit, but it's got that almond scent to it, so it makes it like a little more warm. I don't know how to describe it other than that, but it's a really, really yummy scent. If you see it at SAS, it'll probably go on sale even further after the first week, but I just saw it and I was like, oh, let me get it right now. And I didn't think about what the price was. So that's the last thing that I picked up at the outlet. I did go to one other store and pick up some stuff from there. I actually went to a third store, but they didn't have anything new or different at that store. So I didn't pick, it, pick up anything there, but let's go through what I got at the other store. So the first store I went to, the outlet did not have any of the new candles or body care out. They only had one um, of that new Fun Fair body care collection out. And I think it was the, um, the one that's returning. I can't remember the name of it, but the purple one, they had that one out, but they didn't have any of the other ones out. They also did not have any of the new candles out besides the blends collection. They did have the blends out there, um, but they didn't have the new like pink petal tea cake or hot fudge drizzle. They didn't have that at the outlet. I think just because they had so much overstock of out of season products that they wanted to get off the shelves first and then they'll probably put out the new stuff later on in the sales. So that's at least what I, what I think they did. So the second store that I went to, they did have all of the new body care, all of the new candles. They did not have a lot of 75% off stuff, which I don't blame them because it was just a regular store, it was not an outlet. So I did pick up some different stuff from this store. The first thing that I'm gonna show you actually, I thought was really cool because I hadn't seen this anywhere else. And that is a wallflower in the blends collection. I didn't know they made that. So this one I got is Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake. I actually really, really love the candle in that, but I could not commit to buying another candle after I had just bought 10 at the other store. So I bought it in the wallflower. Um, I think this one is actually on sale for $3.50 and I didn't have a coupon anymore after going to the outlet. So I believe I paid $3.50 for it. 
Yeah, that's right. And then I did buy two things from the Fun Fair collection, and that is cinnamon donut swirl in the body lotion and in the shower gel. And I just realized that the shower gel is 10 ounces and the body lotion is eight. I don't know how I didn't realize that before, but they are like significantly a different size. Anyways, um, this one was on sale for 50% off, so it was $7.25, which is not the best deal, but they didn't have a lot of it, so I felt like I should just pick it up right now because I really wanted it. The notes on this are cinnamon, sweet cinnamon, brown sugar, and fluffy dough. I can't really tell what it smells like just yet. I'm gonna have to try it in the shower and see, but it reminds me of something, and I can't think of what it is, but that fluffy dough note is actually really prevalent in the shower gel. In the lotion, I can't smell it too much. It doesn't really smell that strong, but I do get some cinnamon in the body lotion. I really thought that these would be good for fall and for layering with some of the sprays that I have left over from fall, like the, um, oh my gosh, what's the coffee scented spray that I have? Vanilla Mocha Creme or Vanilla Mocha Cafe. Oh, that would be so good with this one, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be really good. So I'm gonna try this one out and let you guys know what I think about it, but I really wanted to pick it up at the sale. And then I did pick up two candles. The first one is Toasted Pineapple Marshmallow. I was not expecting to love this one just because I was like, oh, I'm done with summer. I'm totally done, I don't need any more, but it smells really good, I can't deny it. So this one is Fresh Pineapple Milk Chocolate. Milk chocolate? I didn't realize there was chocolate in this one, okay. Uh, toasty Marshmallows and Graham Cracker. I definitely don't smell any chocolate. No, it just smells like pineapple and marshmallows. I kind of do get a little bit of graham cracker, I guess, but it's such a nice, like soft um, pineapple scent, which I was not expecting. It almost smells like a smoothie, I think. So I'm interested to see like the throw on this one, but that was kind of exciting to find this one. And I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. So that one was um, $11.95. And then the next one I got is also $11.95. And this is the last thing that I bought for SAS for my first haul. And that is Pink Petal Tea Cake. So I was expecting to love this scent. People have been raving about it for so long. So I went in with the idea that I would buy two, but after I smelled it, I only bought one because I don't think I like it. It smells like so much rose, okay? The notes are pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. I, I really don't like rose. I don't like floral scents. Um, but I did it for the pound cake because everybody said it smells really yummy. It smells like pound cake with a slight floral. And I was like, oh, maybe I could try it. It smells like straight up floral, like straight rose. But I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to burn it and I'll try it and see if I like it. And if I don't, I can always exchange it. But yeah, it kind of surprised me. I really don't think I like it. But I will give it a try because everybody has said it's amazing. And just for the sake of all of that, I absolutely need to try it. So that's the last thing I picked up. Okay, so final numbers of everything I got. I got 12 candles total. I got one body cream, three body lotions, one shower gel, one moisturizing body wash. I got three little mini body care items. I got three wallflower plugins. I got one, or sorry, three wallflower refills. I got one wallflower plugin and I got six hand soaps. And my grand total, you guys, okay, so the first store uh, was a total of $119.42, and the second store was a total of $44.82. So it pretty much came out to $165, which my budget was $200. So I think I did really, really good. That 20% off coupon definitely saved me a ton of money, so I'm hoping I get another one in the mail soon. That was actually the one that was supposed to expire before SAS even started, so kind of got to sneak that one in there and I'm very grateful for that. So yeah, that is everything for my haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. That was honestly so much fun. It was therapeutic. It was, oh, I just had the best time ever at SAS this year. So let me know if you want me to keep going back and doing more videos. I'll probably do that, but maybe once every two weeks because I don't need anything personally, but if you guys want to still see like what the outlet has and stuff, I can definitely keep going back. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.